Alright guys, we have the Elitech DMG-4B digital manifold. Um, this is a very small, very compact manifold. This is what you get. This is the size of my hand. And this is what you get. So let's open this thing up and see what they sent us. Alright, right inside the box. It has a carrying case here. Nice little carrying case. Put them away if you wanted to. Hangy doohickey and nice zippers. Nice little case here. I don't mind this case. All right, and here is the manifold. So that's a very small display. Now, guys, this isn't a testo. This isn't a a, a field piece. This is a very this is a budget model digital manifold to get you on the scene with digital. The knobs, knobs feel solid. You know, they're not, they're a little, little shaky, but they're not, they're not bad. In comparison, the Testos, they probably have about the same amount of shakiness to them. They feel like they, they, they lock good. They have a good lock to them. I, I, I trust they're off when, when it's all the way off. We'll open it all the way up. Yeah, yeah it has a good, uh, a good lock both ways. Nice big sight glass there. Good stuff. All right, and then we have four buttons here. We have um, a power and Bluetooth button. We have a mode button, uh, zero and the up arrow. Uh, pause, play, and the down arrow. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing turned on. All right. It doesn't have a ton of refrigerant options here. Just the most basic ones. Guys, apparently there is a larger database of refrigerants because um, it says on one of the brochures I read for it, there's 140 different refrigerant options but there's only a handful on this gauge. So uh, I would assume you could just go on uh, their app or their website and, and update it and update any refrigerants that you wanna use that it doesn't already come pre-programmed. All right, so if we hold these two buttons down together, we can cycle our refrigerant options. So we're holding up and down together. Our refrigerant starts flashing and we can start cycling through here. So we got 410A. It's got everything you're gonna use as a air conditioning guy. 407C, it's in there. 404A's in there. R32, which is what all the mini split stuff is gonna be. Um, 290, 22, 134A, R13, R12, R11, uh, 600. 502, 500, 458A, 449A, 448A, and then back to 410A. So yeah, it's got it's got all the basic options here that uh, that you're gonna run into. So after we got our 410A locked in there, we just uh, don't press anything for a few minutes and it um, locks in 410A. All right, uh, this is a kind of small display here. But I, I mean, I can see it. Um, so it's not going to come with hoses. You're going to need to put your hoses on. Um, yeah, so. All right, let's dig into some of the options. All right, so holding down mode, that will take us to our menu where you can pick how you want to set the gauges up. Um, you can go KPA, bar, kilogram centimeters, um, inches of HG, MPA, or PSI. So I'm going to be going PSI. I think most of us are going to be doing PSI. So there. then we hit mode again. It goes down to the temp. You can pick between Fahrenheit or Celsius. Um, you can set your auto off time between 15, or I'm sorry, uh, from off to five minutes all the way up to 60 minutes. I want to save that battery. And then language, you can pick between English or Chinese. And that's all the options. Oh, then it gives you the version and stuff like that, so. All right, now, 
connecting the Bluetooth. Now, I don't believe the Bluetooth, um, their, their Bluetooth enabled probes will sync to this, but they will sync to their app. So direction number six here, open LE Tech Tools, which is this icon right here. Ellie Tech Tools. Okay, we're going to open that up. We're going to allow Ellie Tech Tools to find and connect and determine the relative position of nearby. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and grant permission. Um, yeah, only this time. Okay, so we're going to find our... Let me make sure my, my Bluetooth is on. Okay. So we have our device list here. Our device is, I'm not seeing them on here. Oh, give me one second, guys. Let me, let me find out what I'm doing wrong here. Okay, so we're gonna press the Bluetooth button and our Bluetooth should come on. Okay, Bluetooth flashing. We're gonna search for nearby devices here. There it is, bam. All right, that's available. So we're gonna tap on that guy. This device has a new firmware version upgrade. Um, okay, we'll let that upgrade. All right, now that everything is updated, we're in. We, our Bluetooth icon is on, and we are mirroring our gauges over here. All right, so yeah, we're here. We're in here. Um, I do not have a set of their, their clamp thermometers. So if I did, I could also connect them to the app and uh, set everything up right on here. So like I said before, I don't believe their clamp thermometers or probes connect to the gauges. They will connect to the app along with the gauges so you have everything on your app here. So yeah, that's uh, that's an overview of the Ellie Tech uh, DMG4B. So we're gonna go ahead and um, put this in um, a real world situation. We're gonna take some pressure, some readings and uh, yeah. One thing I will say, um, I am not a measure quick user, but I don't believe Ellie Tech is affiliated with measure quick. Um, I, like I said, I don't use it that much. I've used it before. So I'm not a hundred percent sure if there is a backdoor way to get it on measure quick, but I know as of right now, I did not see anything Ellie Tech on Measure Quick's app. So any Measure Quick users, um, I don't think you'll be able to use this product on Measure Quick. Okay, I just confirmed that in the Measure Quick app, tried to search for this product, it didn't come up. Tried to scan, didn't come up. So, um, Ellie Tech, not available on Measure Quick. Gotta use their app. All right, here we go. I got my just hooked up here, got my hoses on. Looks like we're reading a 113 PSI on our low side, 268 on our high. It gives our temperatures also. So um, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So like I said, very basic digital gauge here. Um, if you want to connect their probes, which they didn't send me a set of their probe, their temperature probes. But if you want to set those up, it all it's all done in the app. Now let's open up the app and make sure everything's transferring properly. All right, everything transferred over properly. You see it here, 113,270, 113,270. Um, let me see here. Okay, this is pretty neat. It gives uh, it gives a minimum 
a maximum and our average. So if you wanted to um, monitor that, but what we can also do here, now I don't know if we can, I just assumed we could add some of their probes to this app and I'm sure you can, but if you wanted to, you could actually put in your temperature here. So I don't have a temperature probe hooked up right now, but let's just say our line temp was 50 degrees. Okay, it would give us a sub pooling of 12.8. Okay, so it adds it for you. So you have to put on a, if, if you don't have the probes, you have to put on a temperature probe and then manually put it in. So that's not that big a deal. And let's say this one over here is, I don't know, 95. Okay, that would give us a negative sub cooling. Okay, let's try something else here. Okay, let's try 80. Okay, that would give us an eight degree sub cooling. So this would be if this system was running ideally. So, all right, not bad. Not bad at all. A little bit of extra steps here you have to do but it gives you the option if you don't have the probes and all you have is the gauges. All right, yeah, it is changing in real time. I'm watching it change back and forth. So you see our minimum has been 112. Our average has been 112 suction. So yeah, this, uh, this LA Tech digital manifold works exactly like it's supposed to do. And, uh, and the app seems like it's pretty pretty straightforward so if we wanted to add some more devices they're all right here we'll just switch on back so yeah pretty cool you could make a report I'm not gonna sit here and figure out how to do that but um, you can graph it you can see that graph is going right now um, all right so yeah good stuff good stuff here um, so I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It works exactly like it's supposed to. And I like the feature that if you don't have their probes, you can get the temperature of your pipe and actually put it right in. So nothing wrong with that at all. All right, guys, that is the LE Tech DMG-4B. So it is um, nothing fancy. It is a entry level digital manifold. Um, it gets you on the digital digital market um if you haven't been if you're going to analogs great great uh, gauge to get to get there now um you will need separate probes to connect to their app or like i showed you can just take the temperatures and um and put them right in manually um that's a pretty neat feature there um yeah i mean uh it's a nice budget option uh it's 110 dollars on amazon i'm gonna put a link below um might be able to get a discount link on that uh, uh, soon. I'm just waiting on uh, a respond back from Ellie Tech, so we might be able to uh, uh, save you some money on that also. So if it is, I'll put that link down there too. But uh, until then, um, it's basically 110 bucks on Amazon. And then um, uh, you can go over and check out uh, uh, Ellie Tech's website. Um, they have the um, the clamp probes. You, you can buy stuff right off their website, or you can buy it on Amazon. Um, but uh, they have the, the temperature clamps. Um, they have, um, you know, other digital gauges, uh, uh, more advanced ones. They have uh, leak detectors, vacuum pumps. They have all kinds of stuff, really. Um, so maybe, maybe uh, check them out. So, but, uh, all right. So if you guys want to win this, I'm going to give it away. I already have enough gauges. Um, uh, it's a good entry level one. I just ask any of um, anybody who does want it, um, you know, make sure, you know, I'm not trying to give it to a guy who has already has a Testo or a S man and stuff like that where they already have all this stuff. I'd like for um, a young apprentice to have this or a first or second year guy, somebody that hasn't really got into uh, digital much. Um, that, that's why I'd like to have this, but of course, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ask you so um, just down in the comments uh, I'm gonna tell you what to do here in one minute all right so to win this I want you to put how many years you've been in the HVAC refrigeration field and what you want me to make 
more content of. This time of year, I've slowed down a little bit. Not as many no cooling calls. Uh, starting to do a lot of uh, a lot of maintenances. So, but I want you guys to let me know what you want to see more of. Um, there's some stuff I just don't. I plain don't work on industrial, heavy commercial. Don't work on that stuff. So, just let me know on the uh, residential, light commercial side what you guys want to see more of, and I'll try to give it to you. So, how many years you've been in the trade? What you want to see more of? So, and I'm going to give you exactly what they sent me it is going to be their gauges with no hoses um so if you want the probes you'll have to go online and get them and you'll need your own um you'll need your own hoses so all right so i want you guys to like the video subscribe to the channel and let me know how many years you've been in the field what you want to see more of you guys do all those things i'm going to pick a winner um i will pick a winner in tomorrow's video so at the beginning of tomorrow's video, nope, you know what? I'm going to make you watch the whole thing <laughs> or you could just fast forward it. But at the end of tomorrow's video, I'm going to draw a winner. So I, I, I want this to go to somebody um, who hasn't been in the field long, somebody who's trying to just get into the digital manifold um, uh, sphere. Uh, you know, guys who have already, who already have the testos and the S-mans and stuff like that. Um, this honestly will be a downgrade for you. So I'm just trying to get this to a first year, an apprentice who just wants to get their hands on a digital manifold. So, um, oh yeah, so that's, that's who I'm trying to be. Of course, I'm not, there's no way I'm going to be able to, um, to, to know. Now, if you put, you've been in the field for 20 years and you, you haven't used a digital yet, then I'll send it to you. You know, I'm just trying to get this into somebody's hands who is not used to a digital manifold. So, all right, guys, but like I said, like, subscribe, comment down below and you'll get entered. I'm gonna pick a winner tomorrow. We'll see who wins it. I'm gonna put it in a randomizer or put everybody's name in a hat. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but someone's gonna win this thing. <laughs> so, all right guys, I'll catch you tomorrow.